How's it going everybody? Skin. How do you keep it on your fingers? Am I right? I'm in a perpetual state of being about one to two layers of skin on my fingertips till I'm bleeding. It's a problem. It's a vicious cycle really because the gym I climb at, it's like sandpaper. It's like swimming on sandpaper and tape helps, but you know, it just doesn't, you just can't pull hard on tape. And I use Rhino Repair, which kind of like after a session, you take a day off. That seems to help. Could, some people say it's a game changer, but it ain't cutting it for me. I need something more. So I did the researches and I'm looking out for solutions. Today, I'm gonna try this stuff. Who else has problems with their fingers? People who play string instruments. This stuff is called Rock Tips, liquid callus formula. I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. Let's head over to the gym. Now, is this aid? Yeah, <laughs> but let's see if it works. I'll try it out. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so here's a closer look at this stuff. Rock Tips Liquid Callus Formula. So here are my fingers before we have any abuse done to them. And uh, these are all filmed in vertical because I stick them on my Instagram, uh, Beta Climber on Instagram. So yeah, it's pretty skatey. You put this stuff on, it has like a break in period. So at first, I mean, it was just skating right off of everything it kind of leaves like a layer almost like if it was a nail like kind of like a nail polish or something but it slowly breaks in and then you're it kind of cracks up and breaks in a bit and then you're able to apply some pressure we're gonna be putting in a long day today on this stuff so i'm able to pull this send off uh, this goes at like a v8 and this is where i really the, it like came in clutch i started to get this abrasion like in the crease of my thumbs and on these type of textured holds um i think they're called i think flat hold is the company that makes these and i mean this stuff is like 50 grit sandpaper and i'm able to just give attempt after attempt after attempt on this and you're just like it's not even on the pads but like you're pulling you're sliding sometimes they make like paddle climbs out of these holds where you're just literally sliding off one hold onto the next and with that it's just like gonna just tear away at everything i mean this stuff eats up your shoes um yeah it's pretty gnarly super glad to get this send okay now yep the blood has already started so it ate through a couple layers and then eventually got to my skin and started wearing down my skin. So you had to like keep on watching this stuff. But even after I was bleeding, I wiped that blood off. I stuck a layer on, waited for it to dry, stuck another layer on. And here I'm sending without bleeding and I'm still going. This is hours into it. And here I am at the end of an eight hour day. Here's what it looks like. So that's my bloody spot right there. And you can see how it kind of like cracks up and leaves this strange like finish on your finger but you could like easily just apply a couple layers and every single one of these fingers had a layer on it. look how it's gone it's like gone on all my fingers except for my middle finger I mean that stuff was coated thick on these fingers and these holes just like tear into it here's a closer look see how this like kind of like got a layer and that that layer lasts about like Maybe two days, this stuff will stay on my like my, stayed on my middle finger. It says it's supposed to come off with soap, but it didn't. And here's where I mean, this probably would have been bloody too, it, but it's not because I had this stuff kind of coated on this fat of my thumb here. These holes right here are enemy number one. Okay, flat hold. These are called tsunamis. These blue ones. These things. If you got a set that you're going to be working on these blue holds or these yellow holds the red ones over here to the right they're not as grippy but these blue ones and these like yellow ones super grippy my recommendation avoid them at all costs <laughs> unless you have unless you have like good skin and you're ready to lose it otherwise i would say tape up tape up before you even touch them and get the beta down. Get get the climb wired. And then if you if if you have if you think you're only gonna have one attempt, go for it. If you're gonna have multiple attempts and you, you realize that, 
tape up, tape up, tape up, get get it get get your attempts in and if you're about to send it while taping up maybe then untape and then go over the send because i'm telling you these blue holes these red holes they will tear you up and eat your lunch okay so oh you like the shirt only sends betaclimbers.com it should be up should be up now by the time i post this video so this stuff i actually went through this entire bottle in in that eight hour session now, I don't think I would have been able to even come close to putting in eight hours on the sets that I was climbing on the amount of repeats I was doing. It would have definitely, it's definitely a make it or break it type thing. If you're like, let's say you're doing some long ass comp because I mean, there's one point where I was bleeding and I just put this stuff over and I kept going. Suppose you can just try to use tape and just keep on taping. Um... This compared to tape, that's a really good question. I hear some people say you could put like actual crazy glue and this stuff gives like a crazy glue finish, but it doesn't do like, like if you put like crazy glue on your finger, too, your fingers will stick together. This stuff won't do that. I, have, I actually put it all over my fingers and I'd rub it in and it would give it like a whole minute and then it would dry. And then you could actually put another layer on, but it do, it did leave like, it just it was just like a skatey finish and it, it was it's very weird but it made it possible to keep on going which is kind of strange and i'm gonna have to experiment with tape and crazy glue and see if i could get the tape to stay because i tape up my fingers i have to i should do a tape video but i tape up my finger, fingers really well the tape kind of stays on but it's it just comes off after a while so this was definitely different than tape um yeah let me know what you think do you have any tips or tricks let me know. I'm willing to try it. I should do some more videos on this stuff. More experimenting needs to be done. I'm probably definitely going to keep this. I'm a, I might buy another bottle. This was 12 bucks. I might buy another bottle and keep it in here and use it for things like if I'm getting a, like a little bit of abrasion somewhere um, and then I'm able to keep on climbing. That's better than tape. Like if I'm just able to just put it right here, you, it's just more, it's more easily applied than if I wanted to tape a spot like that that was just getting eaten away if I was doing a certain set if you're doing a certain set and this is kind of just grinding into it you know this is just going to be better for that I mean it's interesting I don't know if you got like 12 bucks you're willing to give it a try go ahead give it a try let me know what you think if you have any other tips or tricks yeah let me know Joshua Perry climbing out of here